Benny and the Jets was the one who took out Raido yeah. in the uh, first round of Top 32. Oh, yeah. So it looks like Politana versus Duck Hunt Dog is the matchup here. We're here on uh, Yoshi's Island Brawl. Very surprised to see this for a game number one. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm surprised to see Abadonga's choice of Palatina here. I've seen him use a lot of characters in the past two days. Yeah. Um, I'm interested why, you know, he wants Palatina here, Duck Hunt Dog. Uh, Duck Hunt Dog seems to have a lot of weaknesses in this game. Yes, yes. Uh, definitely uh, a character Raido makes work, but we've seen other characters come out for Raido. But, uh, yeah, definitely he has to uh, make some very crafty decisions here. Abadongo already with oh. a very large lead, Ab uh, almost killing him off the top there with the Explosive Flame. Abadongo just dude, so good to just control this match, you know? And, you know, yesterday we got to see mostly his Inkling, and today you know, we see, you see a lot of characters. And, you know, I've yet to see... I've yet to see this matchup in particular, but it really seems like Palatina has, has a pretty easy time dealing with Duck Hunt Dog. I definitely know why Abba picked this character. It's uh, definitely for the projectiles. Abba Dongo is big chilling with this explosive flame and auto reticle, kind of forcing Raido to like not be the uh, king of long range. You know what I mean? You're, yeah. you're, you're definitely like having a lot of things to deal with as you're setting up your gunman, as you're setting up your can. Abba definitely not making it easy, but honestly, Abba not racking up too much percent and Raido Kind of primed to take this kill right now. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not even sure what Dark Hunt Dog really, you know, kills. I saw when he was playing Don Quavius, he got kills with the, the gunman. Yep. You know, I, I, I of course with the, with the can. Can at like 170, 180. Yeah. Oh Ooh, hey. he just waits. Yeah. Throws out the reflect trying to get rid of the can, but he just pops it up one more time. Yep. Rhino so experience, you know, so much in Smash 4 2, he's so much control over the can, so much. It's like he knows so well how it works. And Abba going right underneath that can and getting in and. Twirling the staff, the neutral airs are coming. There's no double jump here on Raido. The directional air dodge, so smart. Great timing coming out from Raido. Gonna avoid that edge guard there, but he took a little bit of damage. Oh yeah. Okay, there's the can. Ooh, I wonder. So with the with the different gunmen, right? They, apparently each one does like different damage, right? You, and they have the different order? timing as well. I do not know the order off the top of my head, but there's some that are quicker. There's some that are slower. The quicker one, obviously not as strong and the slower okay. ones a little bit more stronger. Okay, uh, they well, definitely like were never kill moves in uh, Smash 4, oh, so yes. that is something that has been upgraded that the gunman can kill now. It looks like you know, he's using pallets and neutral so well. You know, also a move that was never used in Smash 4 to just to do so much to get rid of, you know, the, the gunman, to get rid of with the can. Yeah, auto radicals. He's really denying Raido a lot of these tools that I think you know, he's put a lot of time into, into perfecting. Oh, yeah, for sure. And uh, definitely Abba has the, uh, in terms of neutral and hitboxes, he definitely has the advantage. Ooh, Ooh nice explosive man. frame right there. Just calling out him out jumping right. Yeah, yeah. And on top of that, maybe not having the best setup game, but like you still have moves that can pressure Raido as he's setting up, like the explosive flame and auto rotors. That's so good. And the cool man almost taking him off the top there. I, I feel like Abba gets the first stock so far every time, but uh, yeah. he can't get too much damage. Ooh. Ooh. That Going was right so stop right there. Yeah, and Raido knows that Abba eventually needs to teleport to the ledge. He put the can exactly right near the ledge, and he was just like, you know what? Just pretty much calling oh, out yeah. exactly when Abadong wanted to go for that teleport. Oh, yeah, let's see. So actually, Raido taking the first lead, I think, of the game right now. Oh, I think he'll quickly lose it to these nairs. Oh, oh. Trying yep. to twirl on him, but some, uh, that, some weird trade. That Palatine and Nair, you know, some people are saying, oh, this is the best move in the, in the game. Like, you're not uh, character. That move no. itself? It's like, it's good, but I, I think people are kind of wilding out over Palu, like, on Twitter. I, I don't know, like, no, Palu's no. definitely super good, but I don't think Nair is the best move in the game. Calm down. <laughs> okay. Nair definitely, like, is good, but, like, out of shield, it's kind of mediocre. It definitely doesn't, like, get you out of disadvantage for free like some other moves in this game. Yeah, but. it's it's punishable if you land with it on shield. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, but right now, right, again, Abba with a very solid lead. But, man, can he, can he seal it out? Because he's been able to seal out the, the stock the first time, and oh man. Okay, he's just full, he's full on just using all the... I'll be making you know. love with that B button, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, dang. <laughs> There's the gunman, here's the okay. can setup, but it's all the way in the middle. Here's the setup, you know, but the directional air dodge, you know, I'm... I'm this stage, I'm not, I'm not too sure whether you think you can get benefits or harms like his, his play with like the gunman and the can. Right. It's uh, it can be hard, and I mean, we, we honestly don't even see this get that much. It's the main setups are going to be the can, especially right here on the ledge. When you any setup character that can set up like some kind of explosive or something, 
um, by the edge is just so strong. And the yeah. angle down forward tilt, wow, that takes it. What a comeback wow. from Rido. Yeah, Rido, you know, at the beginning it looked pretty grim for him, but he just came back in there consistently, did his setups, you know. Angle down forward tilt, wow. Yeah, and like, I like 110, right? He definitely had to angle it, angle it down too because the way you ledge trap on Yoshi's Island Brawl since that slant is yeah. so extreme. If he did a regular down tilt, it probably like wouldn't have really gone down. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, and angle down forward tilt honestly just sounds like a really good option if they do a ledge drop double jump up or like, like ledge drop double jump aerial. As they're ledge dropping, some people press back. You can catch sus the eye. Yeah, yeah. You can get people hanging on the ledge too long and. Man, Abadongo was the one to take the first stock, every stock, except the last one, yeah. the one that matters, man. Righto, you know, really coming in just... Okay. Now, that, that Paladin dash check, I feel like it's it's so good against people that want to land with ears, because it's, it's I think it's just invulnerable. Yeah, the shield it, is so good. Yeah, the back air and the dash attack, so good for people not being able to challenge it. And Righto just... Oof. And the yeah, auto hitting back the can is such a good deal. Yeah, oh, he's using auto so well. You know, and he's, he's getting that solid lead just like he did the first game, but you know, oh, the edge guards. Yeah, let's see if we can That was one out. thing I feel like he did not do the first game that was just, just solid edge guard. Yeah, just three back airs and a death. And I like Abba positioning himself for that. Okay, Abba. Okay, he covered. <laughs> nice ledge cancels. But Abba positioned that back air particularly well because. Even if he did do, do directional air dodge, it wouldn't be close enough to get back to the stage. Yeah. So that was just really good positioning from okay. Abadongo, knowing exactly when and where to pull the trigger. Okay, Ken Ledge doesn't connect. So okay, he gets it Ken back set up right there. Oh, a little tick, but the tick hits, but yeah. the can doesn't. So that's, okay. That's a that's a big deal. Sometimes that will happen, but now the tables are turned. Okay. Abba racking up good Ooh, throw damage. back air. Okay, are we All right, oh, is he dead? No. I would say, I don't know if he can get back from that deep. Duck Hunt's up B is honestly, I feel like, one of the more tragic up Bs in this game. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Duck Hunt and Wii Fit definitely have tragic up Bs. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. At least okay. Duck Hunt can air Abba. dodge, but, like, Wii Fit's kind of, yeah. Abba, you know, I feel like he, he noticed the last game, maybe he kind of relaxed up and it didn't work out, but this game, you know, he's, he's really be commanding him. Yeah. Oh, Rido just answering right back with the can. Yeah, that was a, I'm not going to lie, that was just a lucky break for Rido because. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like that was a situation where, like, Abba was. He, like he was doing so well, he felt himself a little too much. Yeah, kind of yeah. Extended off stage. He was like, I'm just gonna drop protect. down with this nair real quick. Yeah. But uh, a little bit of breathing room here for Rido. I mean, Abba was looking like he was uh, seasoning up that three stock. But uh, a little ray of hope here for Rido. Back yeah, here. Rido actually, you know, doing a solid job. And you know, I was thinking if you asked me, you know, just like 30 seconds ago, I was like, oh yeah, but I'm gonna probably take this. But now, honestly, like he could, Rido can do it. Oh yeah, for sure. He's so good at that, you know, people get antsy for those kills and he just he just capitalizes it so much. Man, he wants to catch these jump with the uppers. That's another like main tool for uh, he, Duck Hunt to get these stocks. He has so it, since he was in 80%, Abadongo was at uh is it yeah, okay. Getting the wow. kill just So Rido really Dang. This, this if he comes back from this, that would be so wild. I mean he he's brought it back to the last stock, I mean, and we've seen Rido doesn't like the, the percentage deficit isn't too devastating for him to bring back. No, not at all. Okay, good, good up tilt. Ooh, but the up air doesn't fully connect. Big break. Oh, here the for back Abba. air. Oh, this is a terrible situation. Can you even make it back? Oh, the oh, nair. Oh, the nair. But okay. he, he doesn't have a jump. Down air. Oh, gets back. Oh, uh, but the back air. Yep. But that trade not going in his favor. Honestly. Pretty surprised that the trade went off with the back end nonetheless, but oh, really yeah. good stuff from Abba. It was looking uh, pretty dicey. Yeah. All right, so now we're 1-1 one, one apiece here for our two Japanese competitors, Abadongo versus Raido. It looks like Abadongo is going to stick it out with the Palutena. Definitely someone new we've seen on Abadong's roster. Definitely a Japanese player known for having a bunch of different characters. But um, Palutena, I mean, honestly, we I only really seen it debut like maybe in the past week or two. Yeah, I, I haven't seen his Palutena before today. I don't think. Um, but it's obviously very good. You know, it's probably something probably plays Raido a lot. You know, and, and that's just kind of been like, okay, well, I think this is the best top choice for this matchup. You know, in Smash Four, he had the super key, key, uh, deep character pockets. Oh yeah, you know, the sure. Wario, the Pac Man, you know, just all over the place. Yeah, and one thing I noticed that I really like about, like, Palutena meta in general is during the Nair, like, chains, I'm seeing, like, Palu's 
uh, go out with the Nair and then pull them back just so they have more stage to work with yeah, for yeah. the follow-up, which is like so smart. Something that I, I feel like uh, we've only been seeing maybe in the last month. The cross okay, up. Okay, let's see. Yeah, see, like situations like that, the Nair's really not that great because it can't really cover that mode behind you. Oh, yeah, and Duck Hunt, definitely not the tallest character as well. Uh, Palatine and Nair, definitely great out of shield against tall characters, but against some of the shorter ones, uh, can be a little hard to connect. Oh, yeah. Oh, Rhino going for some setup there. Here comes the auto reticle. Abba is. Oh, that was a miss input. Definitely point blank there. Uh, not going to work out. Yeah, I think it's important to note that, you know, Rhino, this is, this, I think, the second time he's had, like, an actual good lead in this set. Oh, yeah. You know, Especially no, like now, he's, now, it's, it. now it's, you know, even. But he, he's had a hard time getting a lead. Um, you know, this game seems like, you know, a combination of Abadango and you know, flubbing him just making some solid plays. Like, oh, is that going to kill? No. That was so weird. He, like, even mixed up the throw as well, trying to drop the gun and get a low shot here. Man, Raido with full control, explosive play. I'm going to take out the gunman. Now, this is a super serious situation, sitting at the ledge against the Duck Hunt. Oh, yeah. And we see all this safe pressure coming out from Raido, man. Again, with the, man, that, that edge cancel on the middle platform is getting Abba out of so many bad situations. Oh, yeah, he's doing, and he's, he does it so, clean, so consistently. Wow. You know, right over like, catching him recording. Yeah, he, he, so he made it so the can was bouncing back to the stage to catch that Palutena teleport. And how many times have we seen him do that throughout the set? It's so good. All right. And there. You know, right over, you know, oh, he's off stage. This is, this is the situation where it's getting really, oh, okay. Guess that's not really a problem right here. Uh, this is when it gets dangerous for Raido. Oh. oh, slips right past the Nair. Raido with a little bit of control here. Maybe he can seal out the stock, possibly. Tries to get it uphill. Still keeping the pressure on, though. Oh, just like to you know, get, his, get his stuff set up. Back throw? Oh, back throw. Oh, yeah. Wow. Very strong kill throw there for Palutena. Of course, armed or like combined with how large her standing grab range is. Oh, that was so such deadly. a good combo. Oh, wow. Still going, man. Ooh, wow, he's so fortunate that it traded there because that uh, could have been a dead Palutena stock. That forward smash, very, very powerful coming out from Duck Hunt. Now, I'm noticing Duck Hunt, you know, he doesn't really have any offense out of shield. Oh, yeah. yeah I just, mean, Nara's shield's pretty all right, but kind of a uh, quote-unquote mediocre option compared oh, yeah. to some of the other top tiers uh, out of shield options for sure. Of course, still setting up his can, using it to pressure Abba into these weird spots, trying to get okay. the snipe down low. Oh, using the air right there to catch his jump. All right, the can's up there, sweet. So you can't really use it to. Oh, can he though? Can he? Yeah. <laughs> I eat my words. Yeah. <laughs> setting up the grab there, and I, I, oh, I like that. Up here, catching the jump, just keeping him in that corner for so long. Yeah. Ryder seems to really have a depth in the set because the first game you seemed like he was in really hard time. You know, he came through. In the second game, you know, it seems to be a little, a little bit worse, but now he just seems to be doing so well at controlling things, getting up in the corner and just keeping him there. <coughs> yeah, and these, these call-outs are so good as well. Most people want to jump out of the corner. It's so, like, quote-unquote safe, right? Yeah, but it... He's just, you know, every time Alba's trying to jump out of the corner, he gets a punish. You know, he makes sure that Alba does not think he can do that for free. Yeah, and Raido still doing such a good job, tacking on so much percent. Already 37, Raido barely just hitting 100% here, using the can to help him recover, oh, but now air. he doesn't have it. Wow, I, I wonder. Oh, that was so, it was so clean, he got, you know, just slipped right yeah. past him. He, he went was, very, he, like, inside of the stage, which was smart. All right, yeah. I know, just, every, you know, every time he gets pressured, ops to just getting away, getting, getting more getting room on the stage. Oh. Man, and already Raido racking up so much percent. He's still Ooh. keeping it going. All right, we got yeah, he's the... about to, he's about to laugh at me. This is looking this is looking really you know not very good for Abadong at all. Nice time and hard. Oh, he oh, DIs man. in, so he gets hit with the up air. Don't get caught DIing in Abadongo, or you will get slapped up from the duck. Raido taking him right off the top there. Now going up two one here against Abadongo. Yeah, I don't think in this situation if he had DI'd you know, we you know I don't think. If he died out, the fourth throw would even kill, really, you know. Ah, no. I mean, he might have been able to go into forward air, but I doubt that true combo. Because yeah. there's more distance, too, and up air is just so quick, right? Just yeah, jumped yeah. right up, got the up air. And uh, maybe, like, in those particular situations, sometimes you DIM because you don't want to be, like, so far off the stage. Yeah, yeah. But, like, sometimes you're like, oh, yeah, wait, they can, like, kind of confirm off that. Oh, so yeah. Definitely uh, can be a mistake, but. Now, Rido. I think we see a switch to Lucina. Oh, wait, no. Okay. <laughs> We got a double switch. Yeah, double switch. Raido swapped to Lucina, I believe, and Abadongo swapped to his Inkling. Right, probably because of the stage. And of course, uh, Abadongo did lose that last 
set or last uh, game. So he has the right to counterpick yeah. the Lucina. And yeah, I mean, we're going to see. Uh, I mean, this might be the debut of Raido's Lucina in this particular tournament. Yeah, I mean, uh, Abadango yesterday had just rolled it. His, his inkling was so, so good. The thing that he's so consistent about, you know, that I feel like most inklings aren't that consistent about is up throw, up air at the perfect percents, you know? Yes. He knows the map. This character is super broken. Inkling, I'm talking about. Like, Lucina's really good too, but man, Inkling is just. You can be really safe and get so much damage, especially like back air confirming in a grab, which is like essentially your main damaging tool. Also, you get kills off a of grab if you know how to set up the situation correctly. But right now, you see okay, I mean, really it's, it's pretty even, but see, like, I think he's. I think. He, uh, no, okay. I don't think up there, up air would connect at this point. Yeah. Uh, I think there's too much rage and too much percent on Lucina. Oh! It can be a little hard with that rage. Of course, uh, the lower the rage, the more consistent these grab combos can work. But and also, Inkling can be pretty hard. Oh! That, okay, that was the other thing. He, I, yesterday, he was doing that to everyone, and no one was punishing it. Yeah. And I, apparently, right knows exactly what to do. But I think, oh, no, okay, just barely not in the percent for it. Yeah, even with no rage. Uh, up there, not going to kill quite just yet. Abo sending. I like the insta upbeat to the ledge, putting himself in a really, really good position. Wow, the parry into like, I, it looked like Abba tried to buffer back here, but it wasn't quick enough. They waited for the tech, and right now Raido getting all that good damage. Okay. Raido, you know, even in, in, I don't think I've ever seen this, this scene before, and, uh, oh. against against uh, Abba's uh, Inkling, which I surely have seen before, and it's very good. He seems to be doing very well. Oh yeah, Raido, don't, uh, don't be fooled just because the only thing you see is Duck Hunt. I've seen Raido play many different characters. Obviously, it's mainly Duck Hunt in tournament, but he has a lot of characters up his sleeve. He's uh, very good. I've seen him play Pokemon Trainer, a little bit of Pikachu, but like his definite main secondary is Lucina, and yeah. um, those are the two characters I've seen from Raido in tournament. But yeah, I mean, I mean, just in general, usually if you're of this caliber, of this talent, you're definitely gonna have some other characters you're gonna be able to bust out in bracket. And ultimately, it's just a game where it's pretty hard to solo main. I mean, you, you can do it, but it's just kind of difficult. Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, it, these, these players are showing that even in Rhino, you know, the, the Duck Hunt Master, he's showing that, like, I'm just another character. Yeah, pretty even. Um, in sense of stock right now, Rhino leading in percentage. Oh, Ooh, man. what a good down smash. That's another thing that I, I think, and uh, this was talked about a good bit yesterday, was his down smash usage. Better yeah. than any other inkling I've seen. It, yeah, down smash is such a great move. Very, very underrated. A lot of ink, oh, but the covering roller. so much with the the ink bomb and then the roller. That was so clean. And I like how he started the roller so far back. I don't know if that covers like uh, normal get up, but it definitely covered roll there. So really good stuff to Abba closing it out, making sure it's not getting too far. And you already know, man, Abba's trying to set up this game five situation here against Rido. Oh yeah, Rido doesn't want it though. He wants to get his three one and get out of here. Yeah, cash out, cash in, and uh, yeah, get it, make his uh, make his way along in the losing bracket here in top eight. Okay, up throw up here. He's gonna get some strings. Ooh, platform Ooh. extension. That though. was a good bit of damage. Yeah, it's it's he crazy, man. It's incredibly even. Yeah, Inkling just gets so much damage. Can also get the kill off of Gravit. Oh, he misses the punish on the tech. Okay, okay. Ink bomb. The ink bomb. The ink bomb doesn't connect. There was such good spacing for Ryder to get him just barely out of it. It gave him so much control though, and I, I like how Abba yeah. just like, oh, I, you're not gonna get hit by it. I'm gonna abuse that. Get this really good positioning on you, and look at what it's got him so far. Raido still not being able to make his way to the center of the stage. Yeah, Abba uses that ink bomb so well. You know, a lot of things just keep throwing it until they can, you know, find some mutual interaction. But Abba, he throws it once and then takes the space he needs with his body. Exactly. And they're out of shield here. Oh, there's oh, a trade. Is that it? That, oh, ooh. yeah. Right there, Raido overshooting just a little bit there. And the trade with the forward air was just enough. No double jump on Raido means no last stock for him. And we're going to a game number five. Oh, yeah. So do you think Raido will switch back to Duck Hunt? I, so right now he has his counter pick. So Raido has to pick the stage. Um, oh. Abba's got to pick the character. So oh. maybe, uh, uh, maybe Abba. He's counterpicking the music too. Maybe Abba will be like, okay, I can't really go Inkling because I don't want to fight Inkling versus Duck Hunt and he'll have the right to counter pick. So right here we're seeing Abba go Meta Knight. And looks like Raido is definitely down for the Meta Knight. We've seen the Meta Knight earlier today against Peep Nut. And really, I, I mean, I haven't seen too much of the Meta Knight as of recent, but now Abba bringing it out in the time of need. And of course, this guy is a Meta Knight veteran. He had the Meta Knight down in Smash 4. That's why he's got the little slash by the left eye, man. Oh, yeah. He's been through some stuff. His, his Meta Knight has always been an amazing Meta Knight to watch. Uh, I, I wonder, you know, why did he wait until now to bring it out and he decided to bring out some other things. But 
you know, I can't wait to see. I feel like offstage is going to be, you know, even harder than it was versus the Palatina, the yeah. Duck Hunt. Um, I do wonder, you know, how, how are these neutral interactions going to go? Because once Midnight Knight gets in, how does Duck Hunt get out of that? Yeah, and Duck Hunt is a little floatier as well. So it, he's going to be, I, I don't think he's going to be like super susceptible to ladders, but we could see oh. some setup, ladder setups. But man, can he get in? He That's catches the dimensional cape in with that side B. That was so good. Yeah. Oh, are you Ooh. dead? I thought he was going to go maybe into like up smash, but man, Abba just hasn't really got in. Finally, we see an opening here. Swats the can away. Oh, okay. Man. Rido honestly taking so much control of this game. Oh. Just catching him trying to get in. You know, how does Meta Knight get in right here? It, it's pretty tricky. Um, obviously, like, you have just incredible dash speed, but... Oh, the downside is blowing up the can. This is... All these oh, this straight, is a hard situation. Dude. He's just reading all these dimensional capes. You know, that was that was one of the things that I feel like Pipa struggled with, was dealing with a bunch of capes, but Rido says it's not a problem for him. Yep. Off the top he goes. Rido with a very strong opener here. Okay, gets a little bit of damage. Of course, the Duck Hunt definitely known for the, uh, the side V combos in this game. Uh, definitely something new for the character. And man, Raido, I just feel like Raido has such a good lockdown on when and how Abba wants to get these uh, dimensional capes. And yeah, yeah. He's been hitting them like out of it or during it. Oh, was, no. that, was that an SD? Yeah, that was an SD coming out oh. from Raido. And he already know, man, Abba's going to take that straight to the <laughs> yeah. bank. Because he, he was kind of getting bopped that first time. Yeah, on, yeah. Man. Okay, I should go with that one. All right. Now, oh, I'm getting in. See, obviously, the up smash right here. Juggle? Okay, gets a trade. No double jump here. Oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> what a what a can placement there to catch off. Oh, yeah. Damage in. Oh, what's the combo here? Oh, oh. The, the side beat up smash. Whoa, that worked. I wonder if he was a little higher percent. I did not know about that kill confirm. Yeah, you can actually do a side B to side B to up smash on a platform. Jesus, yeah. that is <laughs> pretty wild. Wow. They, they gave everybody like crazy setups in this game, which is like cool. Yeah, and, and then the, more, the further the game goes on, the more you find all these crazy stuff. Ooh, man, but just do it from Raido. What confidence this man has in the oh, duck yeah. hunt. You usually don't see duck hunt like run up and just be like, yo, I'm going to call you out with this up smash, though. Man, yo, I mean, usually he's we playing see his face right now. He's not spacing out or anything. He's just... yeah, right now, uh, Rido playing like duck only duck hunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No can, just going in. But, uh, I mean, now uh, utilizing some of those projectiles, slowing it down. Man, I, I, that's the one thing I like about Rido. He's not afraid to just go in and, like, pressure you unexpectedly. And that's, that's when um, zoners come really dangerous. It's like when their battle plan is not only zoning, it's like, oh, you're playing that snack, snake that is willing to go for that random oh, dash yeah. attack, you know? Yeah, and they have they have like the the range to say you know like I'm gonna I'm gonna zone you right here, but then I'm also gonna just go in ran you know not randomly, but I'm gonna just calculate you just go in and, and you get so much done. Ooh, oh, is that it? Man, are you Ooh. dead from that? 91% after the hit. Abadongo not you know. able to clutch it out with the Meta Knight Rido. And that's a classic, you know, the missed up beat to getting to losing a game. To getting jammed, man. I've I've seen that many many times in Smash. 4. Oh yeah. Like oh. He's gonna, he's gonna get the stock. He's gonna win the game. Up air, up air, up air, up he doesn't fully yeah, connect. Yeah, doesn't and, connect. Uh, see Dead you later. The side. I that that's some that's a reason why I could never play Meta Knight in Smash Four. Hey, uh, but uh, 